Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. Okay, here's a nice little trick you can do. Make sure you can see there's nothing up my sleeve, nothing in my hand, nothing up my sleeve, nothing in my hand, but when we roll our hands together, we can produce lots and lots of cash. Matter of fact, there's my famous million dollar bill. Do that. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Okay, to begin today's Pulp Fiction, we're going to look at an outdated video showing a lot of mistakes that we used to think were the correct things to do. The old access opening, see how that's tapered and a lot of tooth structure removed that you don't need to remove. Here's the biggest problem. Take a look at these threaded posts being placed in the tooth to, quote, strengthen the root canal. We know that all you need to do on most molars is just bond a nice light cured composite and that's going to give you the core that's going to stay in place. Here's another mistake that's commonly made in most dental offices, and that is a full crown on every tooth that's had a root canal. You take away a lot of strong tooth structure, and this is not necessary with today's modern materials. But today what we really want to talk about is a new uh, instrument that will help you gain your straight line access into the tooth, and it's called the LA Access Diamond. The LA Access Diamond is a rapid cutting diamond with a safe ended guide tip and that guide tip goes down in the canal when you straighten the, the LA Access Diamond up, it's what creates those little grooves in the walls of our preparation. I'll show you pictures of that in just a minute. Now remember we talked about the old type of uh, restorations where we would make our access opening really way too wide and our endo access is going to be in a straight line in the distal canal and in parallel to the walls of the mesial. So we have a very small access opening, but we can get straight into all the canals using the LA access burr. This is the old way that we used to do it, and you can see that we had uh, way more tooth structure being reduced than we needed, and we wound up making way too large a preparation. But let's see how the LA access diamond creates this little uh, opening here. This is a typical access preparation on a lower molar, and you can see that the little grooves over here are formed by placing the LA access burr in the canal and straightening it up until it lines up perfectly with the angle of the root that you want to enter the canal. And here's the same type preparation on an upper molar, and here's another example of the little grooves that are created. You can see on the right hand side, uh, you can see the MB2 canal, and that's done those little grooves are created again by placing the tip of the LA access burr in the canal and then straightening it up in order to get straight into those canals. And this next slide just shows what happens when you transilluminate the tooth. Then you can easily see where the canals are and where the little grooves are accentuated. Now the LA access diamond is also very, very handy for anterior teeth. And let me show you a little bit more about that. I use a number two round burr to make my initial access on anterior teeth in the cingulum. I use a number four round burr for molars. And once I make my penetration initially in, I'll take the round burr out and I'll switch over to the LA access burr, slide it in the canal and straighten it up almost to the incisal edge so we get a nice straight line access into the tooth itself. This is a graphic representation of the access. We use the number two round burr to make that initial cingulum penetration. Then we slide the LA access diamond in uh, this particular graphic is, is showing the LA access burr, but the preparation is the same. Then we'll slide it down the canal a little bit and then lean, lean it back toward the cingulum. And that creates a nice slot preparation with a little bit of flare. Uh, and it also brings the preparation almost up to the incisal edge of the tooth. And here the dotted lines indicate where we want to stop our preparation. This is an example of a central incisor. Uh, looking down intral, you see the little slot. Uh, there's actually a lower central incisor, and you can see the slot going almost to the incisal edge. And that's what the preparation we're going to create so that when we have 
a tooth like you see here that actually has multiple canals and lower anteriors are famous for that almost half the time. So if we only make the standard cingulum access that we've always done without using that LA access burr to straighten up the, the access straight into the canals, you will not find that uh, lingual canal. Mandibular premolars have a similar access preparation. Uh, many times they'll have two canals and this will form a slot preparation again. Put it, placing the LA access burr into the opening of each of the canals and straightening it up will give you that perfect slot. And one last thing that we want to point out today, if you do have a, a bicuspid and you go in and you find that it's two canals but there's some material between the two, be sure and go in with uh, a round burr or something to trough that out until you get down to solid dentin because if you don't, you may wind up missing the point that it actually, instead of two canals, it's one canal that joins. So be sure and look for that. Anyway, I hope you'll try the LA Access Burr uh, or the LA Access Diamond, and I know you're going to enjoy it as much as I have. Incidentally, if you have any questions, please send me an email at kit.weathers at gmail.com. Or if you would just like to maybe suggest some topics for future Root Tips of the Week. Or if you have an invention and you would like some help on research and development and marketing of that invention, send me an email about that as well. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Endo Root Camp.